By promoting the growth of the Integrated Medicine and Health Service System branch of Thai Traditional Medicine, the Department of Thai Traditional and Alternative Medicine aims to encourage and promote individuals to participate in more health care in order to build Thai traditional medicine and alternative medicine into a viable healthcare system, there is a key mechanism in place resulting from the growth, promotion, and support of activities in the country's traditional, alternative, and traditional medicine at all levels. The Department of Thai Traditional and Alternative Medicine has performed in collaboration with network partners in promoting and building support for public health work. Whether it is the Provincial Public Health Agency, Indigenous doctors, village health professionals, community enterprise groups, farmers groups and other network groups. This project to choose the region of outstanding national model in Thai traditional medicine, folk medicine and alternative medicine to stimulate and promote competition by choosing public health agency in the region with outstanding management, knowledge, innovation and service standards that can be an example to other public health agencies shows the potential of working together through exchanging knowledge and transferring experiences in Thai traditional medical services to public areas. Organizations that have been chosen as a national model area for Thai traditional medicine, traditional medicine and alternative medicine include four types, which are 1. Provincial Public Health Office Type 2. Center Hospital Type and General Hospitals 3. Community Hospital Type 4. Sub-District Health Promoting Hospital Type and the Chalam Prakiat 60th Anniversary Health Station Nawamin Tarachani from 2013 to 2021 at the Diamond level of 13 locations and at the National level of 38 locations. In 2022, there were public health agencies in the region that have been chosen as National Outstanding Model Area in Thai Traditional Medicine traditional medicine and alternative medicine at the diamond level and at the national level. Each of the eight types is follows. Four winners of the diamond level award are 1. Provincial Public Health Office Type Office of Public Health in Lui Province, Health Area 8 by directing the work in accordance with the strategy of the Lui Provincial Public Health Office and policies of the Ministry of Public Health in the preparation of work development plans in accordance with Lui Province strategy. There is a drive to work on Thai traditional medicine, traditional medicine and alternative medicine continuously. People are strong. The economy is strong. Thailand is strong. The 20-year national strategy, stable, prosperous, sustainable, and other initiatives aimed at promoting ecotourism, building a sound economy, enhancing innovation and health products and services, and aiming to become an international health center. From cooperation and working with multidisciplinary and network partners, it creates fundamental outcomes visually which results in three important outcomes as follows. 1. The Act on Promotion and Protection of Thai Traditional Medicine, BE 2542, which serves as the foundation for driving the activity, promotes the wisdom of Thai Traditional Medicine, 1999. This is done in collaboration with a network of partners to advance work through a subcommittee on the promotion and protection of Thai traditional medicine wisdom. Key performances includes the registration of the intellectual property rights of traditional Thai medicine and the introduction of outstanding folk medical knowledge, such as postpartum decoction, knee poultice, traditional healers recipes to be used in primary care units, and assistance for the use of herbs in the community to develop into quality herbal products to create economic income for people in the province. 2. 
To assist the growth of Thai traditional medicine service systems, Lai Province's health services and tourism sectors are being developed. The District Health Promotion Hospital's creation of public health staff with knowledge and understanding of the implementation of Thai traditional medicine in accordance with the service plan of the Thai Traditional Medicine Branch and the creation of Thai Massage Service personnel to support Thai Traditional Medicine Services in Public Health Service Units, health establishments and other organizations has been established as an important foundation for the Human Resource Development Strategy. Three. Creating a strong economy in the COVID-19 context to boost the economy through tourism by integrating the knowledge of Thai traditional medicine and traditional medicine in the Tourism Sandbox Chiang Khan program, assisting foreign visitors and advancing the growth of health tourism. Sandbox Chiang Khan opening can do a lot to boost the local tourism industry a city can be open to tourists in a secure manner and bring in more than 493 million baht for the residents and business owners in Chiang Khan district. Two, center hospital and general hospitals type. Konkan Hospital, Konkan Province, Health Area 7. Executives pay attention to career advancement in Thai traditional medicine and alternative medicine of the province. Vision has been adjusted from health tourism care to a comprehensive health center aiming to become a learning organization in traditional Thai medicine. There are three strategies as follows. Strategy 1. Developing personnel potential and service system. There are 15 medical professionals and practitioners of Thai traditional medicine in Gongan Hospital. All of them are qualified and skilled in their respective fields. There are advisors with the ability to see the large picture, assess the current situation, and offer guidance and answers to issues, which is the primary function of Thai traditional medicine. Strategy 2 – Building a strong network of partners in Thai traditional medicine for addressing health issues in the field. This is done by helping patients who have COVID-19 by bringing Phlox paniculata and Thai traditional medicine to help patients, as well as by working with networks of universities, interdisciplinary professions, and private pharmacies. Up until the provincial COVID-19 epidemic crisis and the Favi Piravir crisis when it was not enough to treat the patients. Strategy 3 – Being a Learning Center on Thai Traditional Medicine Kongan Hospital has three drug innovations as follows. 1. Yao Chan is a drug for the treatment of gastrointestinal disease syndrome. 2. Nitararom has the tendency of reducing anxiety, stress relief, and insomnia. 3. The treatment kit for COVID-19 consists of Harak, Satagot, Endographis paniculata, and Solo Saot, which can be used to improve symptoms. In addition, Kongan Hospital is also a hub for training and learning experiences for students of Thai traditional medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, and modern medicine. This allows Thai traditional medicine to create more knowledge from the collection of experience of treatment and share it with students with the hope that the new generation of Thai traditional medicine will have the potential to treat more patients in every generation working at Kongan Hospital. 3. Community Hospital Type In accordance with the mission of the hospital, which is to have a management system based on good governance and quality services with parties are involved to be a leader in me. Pra Ajan Fan Ajaro Hospital in Sakon Nakhon Province, Health Area 8, has a plan for the development of Thai traditional medicine, focusing on upgrading medicinal herbs, cannabis, medical cannabis, and Thai wisdom to create economy, add value, consume herbal products, create jobs, and generate income for people in the area.
Sahra Ajan Fan Ajaro Hospital is a national model medical cannabis clinic that has an action plan connected to the service system development plan. Branch of the Thai traditional medicine in Sakon Nakhon Province is famous for its squirrel cannabis species and herb city. There are connections at the upstream, midstream, and downstream levels with herbal medicine factories that are GMP, WHO certified under the Ajado Herb brand. Producing herbal medicines on the primary 45 national drug list, two off-list items, and are the source of producing traditional Thai medicine formulas with 16 cannabis mix recipes to support the Department of Thai Traditional Medicine and alternative medicine to share to public health service units throughout the country, including the production of cannabis oil for use in health zones as a strategy for upgrading Thai traditional medicine and herbal products with the goals of producing a comprehensive range of herbs in a local area as a model for Thai traditional medicine. It has signed an MOU with the business sector to create a paradigm for using Thai traditional medicines cannabis-infused goods in private hospitals. Thai traditional medicine is practiced in hospitals by offering clinical services for specific diseases to provide treatment services, such as a special clinic for paralysis and psoriasis, a clinic specifically for osteoarthritis, a clinic for clinical diabetes, and a clinic specifically for blood pressure. As opposed to the province's use of herbal remedies, they use conventional Thai medicine as the first line of treatment. Referring patients to modern treatment must follow certain rules. A practice of encouraging the use of herbs instead of antibiotics and modern medications emerged as a result of the use of herbal medicines to replace 24 instead of 32 modern medicines in hospitals and sub-district health promotion hospitals. Thai traditional medicine has been incorporated into inpatient care including the provision of massage services, the compression of the breasts and the dispensing of herbal medications to the mother after giving birth, the care of patients with palliative care using cannabis oil, and the proactive provision of Thai traditional medicine services by issuing a mobile Thai traditional medicine unit in the community with a multidisciplinary team two days a week to improve access to Thai traditional medicine and support the implementation of herbal medicines for better health of people. 4. Sub-District Health Promoting Hospital Type and the Chalum Prakiet 60th Anniversary Health Station Nawamin Tarachani Tasatan Sub-District Health Promoting Hospital Suratani Province Health Area 11 Most people work in agriculture and industrial plants it was discovered that most of the health problems are diseases of the musculoskeletal, circulatory, and respiratory systems. From the analysis of health problems and the analysis of strengths and weaknesses, plans, strategies, and action plans were obtained to solve the health issues of the people in Tasatan subdistrict with the support of the budget from the Health Security Fund. Tasatan subdistrict in continuous operation. Tassatan Health Promoting Hospital shows two important strengths. 1. Natural Hot Spring Pond It is an integration of the resources available to deal with health issues. The hospital receives the hot water right away. The Suratani Provincial Administrative Organization collaborated with the C. Chalum Thai Massage Parlor, which offers mobile Thai traditional medicine services by volunteer Thai doctors every Saturday, Sunday, and on public holidays. It is the hot spring to serve the patients and expand the service to promote health tourism. In order to promote and distribute money in the community, there is also a community company involved in the distribution of herbal items. Two, strong network parties. The cooperation of the networking parties supports the cultivation of herbs and promotes healthcare with traditional Thai medicine in the community. 
It also creates new innovations in patient service, including its implementation to tie traditional medicine services in different clinics and connection with multidisciplinary. Services of Taciton Health Promoting Hospital provide services in terms of promoting, preventing, treating and rehabilitating the health of the service recipients by integrating with innovation, research and local natural resources. Hydrotherapy Pond, Hot Spring. It is the utilization of priceless natural resources for use in the primary healthcare system, offering linking services, whether in the field of interdisciplinary communities and network partners, local physicians, businesses, the community, Thai physicians and village health volunteers. There is a referral between traditional Thai medicine and contemporary medicine, including the network's NCDs clinics, OPD clinic, and modern medicine parallel. Thai doctors volunteer to treat patients with ulcers by using traditional herbal medicine oil in the care of bedridden patients with ulcers. There were village units and home visits to bedridden patients with local doctors. Four national award winners, namely 1. Provincial Public Health Office Type One of the 14 provinces that run the Herbal City Initiative, which aims to use plants to safely treat patients, is the province of Utai Thani. The vision of Utai Thani, a holistic herbal city for health, economy, society and tourism. Under the strategy, as stated by the governor of Utai Thani province in 2022, included the following. One, encourage planting and improve the caliber of raw herbal materials. Two, the possibility for the production or processing of herbal items to meet market needs. Three, encourage the sale of herbal goods and all-encompassing herbal city tourism. Four, encourage correct use of herbal products. Five, improve the administration of a sustainable herbal city. Utai Tani Provincial Public Health Office, Health Area 3, the vision of provincial model for growth of Thai traditional and alternative medicine, herbal cities for self-reliance in health, economy, society and tourism, which comprises six core initiatives, is driving the development of traditional Thai medicine. 1. Excellence in disease prevention and health promotion. Two top-notch service, 3. Professionals that excel, 4. Superior management and sound governance, 5. Excellent insight, and 6. The study of Thai traditional medicine, alternative medicine and traditional medicine, as well as Thai wisdom, have been integrated into people's health care in order to support the management of emerging health concerns. It was discovered that the incidence and mortality of chronic, non-communicable diseases are now increasing. Also, it faces an aging society. Two, Center Hospital and General Hospitals Type The first district hospital in Thailand was established in 1952 and is called Potaram Hospital, Ratchaburi. Health District 5. In order to achieve excellence in Thai traditional medicine and alternative medicine, it has the following vision. To be a unit of morality, to be a leader in Thai traditional medicine and integrated medicine, and to be a sanctuary for the people. The operation is overseen by the Health Service System Development Committee for Thai traditional and alternative medicine supporting the work of academic Thai traditional medicine reference evidence in Thai traditional medicine with research to support decision-making on patient care, 
and to support education and new programs that will continue both in the present and in the future by taking the patient is the importance. Service. There are alternative medicine services available in addition to the four traditional areas of Thai medicine, including Maniwek Clinic and Combined Medical Clinic Medicine. The Combined Medical Clinic is a royally granted area from Somdet Praganitati Rajao, Department of Her Royal Highness, Princess Maha Chakri Sirinton, and is open for service at natural therapy centers. It serves as a natural learning tool for self-care in order to promote health and encourage people to utilize vegetables and herbs as food instead of medicines. It also serves as a learning facility for non-toxic farming under the sufficiency economy principles. For healthcare guidelines for the people of Potharam Hospital, it relies on medical guidelines mixed into the main approach to healthcare for the people which is deemed as an important combination guideline of Thai traditional medicine and alternative medicine with modern medicine. The combined medicine helps prevent health which will provide people the opportunity to select the most appropriate approach to public health care. The establishment of a cannabis clinic that is integrated medicine and palliative care with multidisciplinary and is still open for specialized clinic services like osteoarthritis clinics, upper respiratory tract, migraine, paralysis, gastrointestinal disease, and caring for mothers after giving birth by compressing the breasts is another integrated service with multidisciplinary hospitals. In order to help people take care of themselves, research from osteoarthritis clinics was gathered to create an inventive herbal pain relief patch for black chicken bones. From the epidemic situation of COVID-19, the Thai traditional and alternative medicine work group can get involved in the treatment of patients infected with COVID-19 in the group with mild symptoms by using Thai traditional medicine and including the treatment of patients who have symptoms after contracting COVID-19 in the post-COVID clinic and collecting data about drugs use that affects the treatment as well. 3. Community Hospital Type A committee in various areas has been appointed by Watana Nakon Thai Traditional Medicine Hospital, Sakao Province, Health Area 6, to integrate joint operations in order to achieve the hospital's vision of becoming a leader in service innovation of Thai traditional and alternative medicine by 2027. A health information survey was conducted which made the participants aware of the local population's health issues and sought to address them in the context of prospective regional cooperation. Service is to offer services on Thai traditional and alternative medicine in the form of outpatients and inpatients, whether for treatment, rehabilitation in stroke patients, the elderly, the disabled, care for mothers after childbirth, health promotion services, acupuncture and smoked cupping clinics, bong thaw clinics, cannabis clinics, combination of OPD services in parallel, specialized clinics that have defined CPG clearly and there is continuous assessment and data collection as an intermediate care center for patients at the provincial, district and country level which has a multidisciplinary team to treat patients with guidelines for care and follow-up after return to the community. There are academic works, innovations and research as follows.
A study on the impact of wheat reparative medication on the efficacy of asthma treatment in asthmatic patients at Watana Nakon Hospital in Sakel Province. Efficacy and safety of Matura Meha for type 2 diabetes mellitus treatment. Research on the efficacy of homeopathic medicines, a case study of the province of Sakyao in the prevention and control of dengue fever. Preliminary results and safety of an innovative herbal poultice with Uncle Winai mixture for treating knee pain. Innovative poultices for treating patients with swelling and inflammation. Innovative poultices for treating patients with swelling and inflammation for symptomatic joint pain diseases. Collecting textbooks of folk healers' knowledge of traditional medicine from the area. In addition, it is given importance to continuous human resource development until becoming a training center in Thai traditional medicine and sources of professional experience as well as being a learning center for Thai traditional medicine according to the curriculum at the Ministry Public Health certified by the Department of Health Service Support. It is also a source of training and experienced professionals. From the success of the operation under the cooperation of the network parties, as a result, Watana Nakon Traditional Medicine Hospital is accepted in the community and at various levels, enabling it to operate with confidence. 4. Sub-District Health Promoting Hospital Type and the Chalum Prakiyat 60th Anniversary Health Station, Nawa Mintarachani. Executives at all levels and multi-sector network partners provided collaboration and assistance for the implementation of Thai traditional and alternative medicine at the Ban Nong Khan Sub-District Health Promoting Hospital in the Nakhon Sawan Province, Health District 3. The Nakhon Sawan Provincial Public Health Office has established a policy for Thai traditional medicine and the implementation of the four-step ladder plan to success as guidelines for the job development of Thai traditional medicine in the province. These include the creation of an annual public health action plan in collaboration with multi-professionals and related network partners and development of project plans every year which is planned to drive the work of Thai traditional medicine in the community with the main leaders being Thai traditional medicine and volunteer teachers specialized in all seven branches. Service in addition to offering services in all four areas of Thai traditional medicine and in five clinics for particular ailments, the main role of a community hospital or hospital network template also offers an open consultation on medical cannabis and actively collaborates with interdisciplinary partners in the care of terminally ill patients. The use of Andrographis paniculata, Tripala herbal juice, and Galingale juice, when combined properly to boost the body's and the population's immunity, is integrated with medical marijuana treatment, intermediate care, health promotion of community members in the face of the coronavirus outbreak, counseling and knowledge of its use, and a campaign to plant paniculata in neighborhoods, homes, temples, and government buildings. With regard to innovation, the region's plentiful resources have been exploited to develop healthcare innovations that are easily available to the general public, such as the outstanding loincloth innovation and postpartum care for women to assist the uterus in returning to normal, tightening of the abdomen, fading and drying of the loam, new massage oil ayara therapy, which uses palm sap oil to treat aches and pains, which is an excellent product in Chum Sang District. Three levels of sugar palm innovation that reduces foot numbness and innovation pain reliever, which is an innovation that makes and collects data together with the main role of a community hospital or hospital network template and apply Thai traditional medicine, traditional medicine, and alternative medicine to promote the cultivation of herbs and economy so that people can have income to enable people in the area to have protection in health and economy in accordance with the organization's mission. This will help the area become a visitor center for Thai traditional medicine and health tourism.